Hello. It's time. It's time for an odd twist from Heather. You see, I know and you know that I like to stay very upbeat, positive, forward focused. However, today I'm going to take you in a little bit different direction, trying a new strategy. You see, there are two different ways that we are motivated, two primary ways that we're motivated, either through striving towards something that's pleasurable or striving to be away from something that is painful. And unfortunately, the painful side, avoiding pain, tends to be way more motivating for most people than achieving pleasure. So we can sit here and we can make our goals and we can attempt to, you know, strive toward our vision. But if we don't also take a portion of time to acknowledge what we don't want with where we currently are, then we're not gonna be as effective. Right? So we need to add the two together. We want to look forward and, and envision the pleasurable side of how we want our lives to look, but we also need to spend some time uh, sitting with the pain of where we currently are. And that will be hugely motivating when you can combine the two. So we're gonna do that right now. I want you to really spend some time thinking about where you currently are. What do you hate about where you are? What is painful? Are you struggling financially? Are you feeling as if the relationships in your life are not fulfilling, that they're painful? Are you in a place where you're, you're discontent, you're, you're dissatisfied, you're struggling, wherever you are, I want you to sit with that and actually feel it. Feel the pain of it. And then I want you to project yourself forward five years. What would happen if you didn't make any change? Where would you be? Would you be struggling even more financially? Would you have disconnected yourself from people that are very, very important to you? What would be the outcome for you if you didn't make the change that you want? Where would you be? And then look forward 10 years. How would that feel if you looked back on 10 years of your life and said, you know what? I, I probably should have made some, some changes. I probably should have taken some action and then have yourself filled with regret. How, how would that feel for you? How would you feel about yourself? How would other people look at you and how would that feel? It's really important to take the time to do this because we will not take action towards something unless we get to a point of being fed up with where we are. Unless it is just too painful to continue doing things the way that we've been doing them. Make the change. Talk to me about it. Reach out, send me an email, text, post in the Facebook group page, have a conversation with your accountability partner about it. Regret is not an emotion that anyone wants to feel. At the end of your life, when, when someone is, is, is giving your eulogy, what are they going to say about you? What do you want them to say about you? Do you want them to say that, you know, at the end of their life, like my father, my father at the very end of his life, what he said to me was, I'm sorry. And he proceeded to talk about all of the things that he regretted, that he didn't do, that he didn't say throughout his life, and then he passed away. Do you want that? Or do you want to say, wow, you know what? I slid into the end of my life laughing and screaming and skidding and bloody and thrilled because I tried things. Yes, I failed sometimes, but I succeeded more because I tried. I loved deeply, I played, I succeeded, I made money, I made an impact. That's what you want. Regret sucks. Spend some time sitting with it.
let me know how, make, how you make out.